Hey guys, welcome back. So first off, this is a sponsored review. The nice folks at Formula J87 were nice enough to send me three pairs of amber LED turn signal bulbs to test out and review. And right here is where I usually say skip to the end of the video for a giveaway. And unfortunately there is no giveaway this time. And that's because I'm so impressed with how well these things perform and their quality and the built-in safety feature that I've decided to keep all three pairs and run them in my Crown Vic and Grand Marquis. So hopefully you can forgive me for that. So I've been testing LED uh, amber turn signal bulbs for the past three years and these are the best performing, the brightest and the smartest uh, bulbs I've ever come across. So that right there should tell you uh, how highly I think of these things and I have no problem uh, recommending these to somebody who wants a bright LED turn signal bulb that is uh, gonna last and not burn out prematurely. So uh, let me give you a shot of the bulb. Uh, this is it right here. It's got five sides. Uh, one, two, three, four, and five and nothing on top so it's got a good uh, 360 degree uh, light diffusion and uh, they're just a little bit taller than the factory bulb and I had no problem uh, fitting these into my light fixtures and let me give you a shot of the box so these have uh, 40 Philips 3030 chips and these are uh, rated as and sold as CAN bus error free so that means for most vehicles you're not going to need to add a resistor or replace the um, uh, the flasher with an LED compliant flasher to prevent hyperflash. And based on my research that's going to be true for about 95% of vehicles. Uh, the other 5% are going to need to uh, add a resistor or replace the, uh, the, the flasher really with an LED compliant one. So these are them uh, right here. Right now they're currently being sold on eBay for $38 a pair. And uh, over the past three years, this is about double of what I usually spend on a pair of uh, LED turn signal bulbs. But considering uh, what you get with these bulbs, uh, this $38 is a bargain if you want uh, the brightest, highest quality uh, turn signal bulb. So first I'd like to go over some of the specifications and then I want to go over what I learned during my testing and then give you some pros and cons for this bulb. So um, the first thing I want to talk about is the color temperature and these are rated at 2000 degrees Kelvin which is a deep amber color and I felt that I found that to be true to spec and to show you what I mean by that is this is a color chart and orange is about right here and yellow is about right here and amber is right in the middle and that's where these bulbs are they've got a deep uh, amber uh, color to them and I really like that because that is the same color as these factory halogen bulbs so I really really appreciate that uh, the next thing is these are rated at 27 watts which is identical to what the uh, halogen um, uh, rating is and I found that to be true to spec and these also have a one-year warranty through um, the, the seller on eBay formula J87 okay so uh, let's get into my current testing so I, t I tested the uh, the current draw with my trusty fluke meter here and this is the biggest tail of the tape uh, proof of the pudding where I can really uh, find out what's going on with these bulbs. 
So again, I had six bulbs and I tested every single one on the low brightness and the high brightness. And get a load of this, every single bulb on the low brightness is identical at 82 milliamps. And then every single bulb on the high brightness is identical at 2.2 amps. So right off the bat what that tells me is that they're using uh, high quality materials and they've got a good uh, quality assurance, a uh, good quality control with what they're putting out in this product. Because normally when I test these bulbs, um, these readings will be, uh, I'll usually have a flyer. One will be uh, much lower or much higher, or yeah, one will be much lower. And that tells me that the components are not as, not as high quality and they're not uh, devoting as much time into quality control. So just based on these readings here, I can already tell that this is a quality bulb and uh, I'm not going to have any problems um, of it failing prematurely. Now what do, these rating, uh, what do these readings mean? So I took the current draw, I, I, I measured the current draw from the factory uh, 3157 halogen bulb and this is, what I, this is what I measured. On the low brightness I measured 550 milliamps and these uh, these LED bulbs are only 82 milliamps, so that means they only use 15% of the power of these halogen bulbs. And you can see from the video footage at the beginning of this video, they're about 1.5 times as bright on the parking lamp setting. And on the high brightness, the halogen is 2.2 amps, which is identical to the... Um, the LED bulb current draw. So these don't use any more electricity or power than a factory halogen bulb. But on the plus side, uh, these things are uh, six or seven times brighter than the uh, factory halogen bulb. <clears throat> and uh, that's kind of important because when you upgrade your headlights, uh, your headlights can overpower your turn signals is what I found. So you know, it starts a vicious cycle. Once you upgrade your headlamps, then you've got to do your turn signals as well. So they can keep up. So, um, so that's, for, that's it for the current draw testing. Uh, now let's get into the pros and cons. So the pros for this, I'm going to say they have excellent quality control. Uh, again, they're six to seven times brighter than a halogen. They have the perfect identical color uh, temperature of 2000 degrees Kelvin, which is that deep amber color. And they have a 360 degree light diffusion. So they, uh, they have proper light diffusion and whatever um, uh, turn signal light fixture you have, you're going to get a good light pattern out of it. And then the one thing I do want to show you is that they have a built-in safety circuit to prevent overheating. And, my, and I'll show you that. And my last pro is they have a one-year warranty. Now, when I get into the cons, I, I say this about everything. They are expensive, but uh, again, for what you're getting, these things are a, a, a bargain. They're worth it <clears throat> if you need a bright uh, turn signal. And my last con is 5% five per, five vehicles may need resistors to prevent hyperflash. So uh, I guess I'll show you the difference between these two bulbs before I show you the safety circuit. So this right here is the, uh, the factory halogen bulb. And right now I'll show you the low brightness. So that's all you get for the parking lamp setting. And then when it goes to the turn signal setting, you get that. Now let me show you the LED. So there's the dim setting, the, uh, the low brightness setting. Now this is the turn signal setting. And hopefully that's coming out on camera. It's, it's, uh, the difference is big. It's a huge difference. Okay, now, uh, now I want to talk about the built-in safety uh, feature that's built into these bulbs that I've never seen before. Um, you'll notice that when I uh, 
connect the high brightness circuit after about one second they go dim and I'll show that to you see that when I connect it they go bright for about one second and they go dim and uh, I measured this with my meter and during the first half second to three quarter second you get that uh, full 2.2 amps of current to get that bright uh, turn signal flash and after about one second uh, there's a built-in circuitry either based on time or temperature and what it does is it steps down the current to about 450 milliamps or about 25% uh, or 20% of the current of when it's bright and uh, I have a feeling they do that because if, uh, when I was running I, I left these things running for about five minutes on the emergency flasher setting and they do get pretty warm they got up to about uh, 150 to 170 degrees and um, I don't think that's going to be an issue because you know nobody really leaves their turn signal on for that long it's usually on for maybe you know 30 seconds uh, so I was just torture testing it so uh, what I found is once these things get hot uh, they default to that lower uh, 450 milliamp of uh, current draw to prevent it to prevent the bulb from overheating and then cooking itself to death okay so uh, that's pretty much it uh, thanks for watching we'll see you next time bye bye